Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be putting some crush bars on my Rebel. I got them off eBay. I don't think they have an actual proper brand, possibly Wolf line. They don't come with instructions, but I really wanted to get some on before I practice some slow speed maneuvering skills. All right, let's see how it goes. Okay, so this is the box that the crash bars came in. Got some bolts. These are the crash bars, so they're wrapped pretty nicely. Yeah, so we've got two separate ones. And then we've got this foam tape, which will just go in the bracket to stop any rubbing. So you'll just need some sockets. Obviously with your bars, just check what size you need. Cut the strips of this cushioning stuff and put it in between the bracket. So this is one side of the crash bars. These are two longer bolts and they go into the frame. Also, how good does my bike look? Like, look at that engine. So this just slides in there. Then you can use your Allen key to do all these up pretty loosely to start off with. I'll go around and put the other side of the crash bar in. Obviously you have to undo this bolt on the side of the bike first because that's where your crash bar will sit in. So you just want to pop this little part in here and then that will hold the other side of the crash bar. Okay, so once you've got the crash bars on, it will actually sit there by itself. Okay, so these are the little casings that the bolt should go through, but they're not going to fit in there. It should be a fairly easy fix though. Just got to drill a hole, yeah, to make them fit. <laughs> Obviously, ideally, you don't want to have to do this, but I really want my crash bars on. So I've got my friend here that's doing that. He knows what he's doing more than me. Now we will re-put the crash bars on. It doesn't say you need to, but I've put some Loctite on all my bolts. I don't want any really to come loose. Once I've got everything done, I'll just go around and just check everything one last time. Sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need What you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness So, hello. I was a little bit hesitant to get the crash bars at the start just because I think it takes away a little bit of the bike's look, but these ones I think are pretty good. They blend in, they serve their purpose, protection for the bike, and they do help me pick it up. I will show you how they work with me picking up the bike with the crash bars on. I was actually looking at the sliders, but I feel like they wouldn't have protected the bike as much. I'm not sure about that though. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with them. They're really good on a long trip because you can actually put your feet up. Yeah, so I would definitely recommend getting some crash bars on your bike, especially if you're a new rider or just not a confident rider or if you don't have the strength you know, to pick up your own bike if you need to. It makes you feel more comfortable when you can pick up your own bike, especially if you're riding by yourself. And it will also not make you as nervous or as stressed that, you know, you're gonna damage your bike. New riders, you wanna make sure that you're comfortable on the bike. You're not too scared that you're gonna drop the bike. And the crash bars have really helped with that. And the other good thing about these crash bars is since I've had them on here, I've not been afraid to take the Rebel off-road. I don't know how the Rebel feels about it. I think she likes it. I am sorry, the bike is really dirty. She's gonna have a bath over the next couple of days. So thanks for watching. I will have a, another video coming soon, how the Rebel handles a longer distance trip. So please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. I love getting some comments.